In joint construction, the class jointly constructs a new text from the notes, guided by the teacher. Using leading questions, the teacher guides students to consider the meaning of each chunk of information in the notes and how they may be written in new wordings. For example, in the lesson here, the teacher points to notes that say water moving and asks the class to rephrase this in a sentence. One student suggests keeps on and she asks the class to put it together as keeps on moving. Again, she points to the notes and asks a student to identify changes state. Another student suggests it's constantly changing state and she guides the class to add these states to the sentence. So what we're going to do now is write our own explanation. Making sure that we look and remember, Alex, about the sequence of steps. Pop your sheet kind of under your book because what I want you to practice focusing on is just going from the notes. Not reading the same sentences again off the original sheet. So, Mert, do you want to come up on the board, on the smart board and write the heading for us in the middle? Just write the water cycle. So as a heading in your books, so we're going to follow the same pattern in our writing as was the text that we've just read. We need to have the same introduction, identify what, what it is we're going to talk about, move through the steps and finish it with a conclusion. How about Peter? Can you come up and write the first sentence then, please? We're going to start with water. What is it that the water does? It's moving. Okay, good. What does it do? I can't say water moving, can I? I need to change the word. Keeps on. So we could say keeps on moving. Okay, so yep, keeps on. So Peter, if you can write up, remember capital to start the sentence. Water keeps on. What it keeps on, what is it keeping on doing? It keeps on moving. So it's moving. What else is it doing? From our notes up here, what else is it doing? Changing. Changing. Good. What's it changing? The state. The state from solid, liquid, gas. Okay, so we're going to try to build that into the sentence. It constantly changes. Okay, great idea, Trent. It constantly. <laughs> yep, C O N. Changes state. What if we said here in our notes that it's going from liquid water, liquid water to Jeremy, yep, to, to vapour, to ice, to liquid. Okay, excellent, Maybe Jeremy. To solid. Maybe to a solid. Maybe to a solid. S O L I D. Yep. You're doing well, that's alright. And we want to get this idea of the cycle. Back. Where did it finish? Back here? to the liquid. Okay, so the main idea we've got to convey in this paragraph is that it's about evaporates, or the word for the process is, can we say that together again? Evaporation! Good. What's this third dot point? Which section of our writing did we label it as? It's part of step one, yeah? So how am I going to show that in our rewrite? Start a new paragraph. Start a new paragraph, fantastic. Starting from here. What was it about the sun that actually causes the evaporation? The heat. The heat. So let's start with that. that. Evaporates. What was it we were evaporating? So water from the surface. So water from the surface. Yep. Okay. So what do I want to say about the vapour? Oh, where's it coming from this time? Oh, water. Yeah, it's coming trees from trees and, trees and yeah. other plants. What if I put it's coming from? With, absolutely, great yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Sentence. So remember in your books, this is still a paragraph, just starting straight after the dot. Yep. Water vapour, now, Amy, what were you saying? Water vapour comes from yep. trees and other plants. It's not the only place, is it? So let's include the word also. Eamon, continue with your trees suggestion. And other plants. Good, trees and other plants. Trees and other plants. We're going to keep the technical term so in this the is one called sentence. Trans it's not really a so link. This, this is, is called, called trans transpiration. Transpiration. Which is called. Okay. Which is called. You're right, Jeremy. Good one. 
Okay. Water vapour also comes from trees and other plants, which is, which is called transpiration. Well done. T R A N S T A T I O N. Name and process. Well done, Rodney. Okay, so in your books, can we label it again? So we can still see this section. So what was this paragraph for? Yep, and this one, Step one. this paragraph, we've started our sequential explanation. Good. Okay. When the board's full, the teacher asks the class to label each section again as they did with the notes. These labels are written on the board and in students' copies. This gives students a strong framework when they come to write texts of their own.